Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast there for Wednesday, July 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit today. And this had major implications for uh, currency markets. Uh, for exchange market, for indices, stocks, and uh, and so on, and especially also commodities and especially oil market as as well. So we it looks like that this is just going to continue um, rallying to the upside. Twenty exponential is offering quite a lot of support. We have the crossing of the twenty and a two hundred moving average here, which have we haven't seen for a very very long time. If you have a crossing of the fifty and a two hundred, then we could see this really taking off to the upside. Technical indicators, they are, well, fairly mixed at the moment. MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish. And we are on the edge of being overbought. So pullbacks can, can continue at this point. So let's look at oil. So oil really fell off a cliff today. We were very overextended, and this was always going to happen, as it always does when we get to the top of the bullish band with a very high RSI and tend to tumble. We also have a crossing here of the MACD and the stochastic and the CCI is really heading south at this point. So we did bounce off the middle of the bullish band. Question is whether or not that it will hold or whether or not we get another red candlestick here. We probably could rally up towards the middle of this candlestick if we don't manage to take out the previous size here, which I fairly doubt at this point. And then we probably go towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is around 70. And that it should be a very, very round number. We also have the 50 moving average down here at the 68.44. So that could also be an area of interest of the, this market. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas really tumbled towards the bottom of this range, it fell roughly 4% and then, well, basically rallied the end of this. The question is whether or not this, uh, if we can hold here, if we basically break below the previous lows here, then we are probably going to drop towards the 3.5 or towards the middle of the bullish band at 3.4, drop below here, then the 50 moving average is going to supply at 3.16 and then the bottom of the bullish band and that's around 3. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, stochastic is flat, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is bearish, and we are just underneath overbought conditions. So let's look at copper. So copper looked really well. It looked really strong, got up towards a 4.34, and then just bang, collapsed to the downside way underneath the middle of the bullish band. And at this point, it looks more likely that we are going to drop towards the bottom of the bullish band at 4.08. If you look at technical indica indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If we were to uh, take out the previous size here, then we could go and challenge the 50 moving average at the 4.4. But at this point, due to the basically fall today, uh, it's more likely that we'll go lower and probably more likely that we'll go to the 200 moving average in the long run. So let's look at gold. So gold has reached towards the 200 moving average, got all the way up towards 1813, and then gave all of those gains back. So it kind of looks like a shooting star. If you get a red candlestick here, then we may tumble to the downside back towards the 17. 50 and if that gives away then we are going to challenge these previous lows here however technical indi indicators do not favor that they are very are all turning around they're not bull they're bullish at this point macd is uh, just crossed the signal line stochastic is bullish cci is bearish and the rsi is bullish so it's a mixed bag but but they are turning around and if we manage to break above the 50 moving average then we could be targeting Nine nineteen hundred. 1900 at this point due to that massive pullback here i think that it's more likely that we'll drop from here and go lower so let's look at silver so silver very similar here rallied up towards the 50 and then gave all of those gains back and now it looks more likely that we'll go back towards a 200 moving average at down at 24 25 dollars 
Technically, any gauge of MACD is bear is a flat, stochastic is bullish, and CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum has really changed here. It changed on absolute dime. It looked really strong uh, heading towards the 50 moving, 50 moving average at the $27, and then everything turned around today. So let's look at platinum. So platinum, very similar here as well. Uh, we rallied up towards... Uh, give or take 11, 18. And then we dropped way below the 200 moving average down here at 1077 and uh, stopped right between the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators at this point uh, are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Bit of uh, fact that we basically pull back here. Question is whether or not we manage to, to uh, rally, continue rallying or we break below here and then go towards 1,000. That is to be seen. It's If we have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average, then we most likely will drop or continue dropping. And in the long term, we may also have the 50 moving average crossing with the 200 moving average. So let's look at the at pallium. So pallium really took a move to the upside up towards 28 to 78 and then gave all of those gains back. And now it's more likely that we are probably going to tumble here and to go back into a range. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So very nasty looking candlestick. Don't really have an example of that anywhere. Probably this one kind of looks like a shooting star. If you have a red candlestick here, and then we then we'll probably tumble back toward where we came from. So let's do aluminium. So uh, aluminium also took a hit today and headed south towards the middle of the bullish band. 20 exponential is going to be our first target. We're trading at 2491. Technical indicators are all turning around, favoring the downside at this point. But we have the 20, middle of the bullish band, and the 50 in order to get through, in order to go back towards these previous lows at 23.44. So that is, we'll see what basically happens there. So let's look at nickel. So nickel also took an absolutely hit today, but found support down here at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators for nickel are all turning around. Question is whether or not we manage to break below here and the 50 moving average. If we do, then it's fairly likely that we'll go back towards 17,150, give or take, or the 200 moving average down here at 16,860. Um, doesn't look like we are going to turn around here anytime soon. If we manage to take out these highs, then 19,000 will probably be the target. So let's look at shooter. So sugar also started its pullback after a really nice rally. It was on the edge of being overbought, but it got significantly overstretched here. And now it looks like we're going to head back towards the middle of the bullish band. At least if we break that, then we could drop back towards these lows at the 0 0.1617. Technical indicators are all turning around. They're not bearish yet. So MACD is bullish and the CCI, uh, CCI is bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish still. So, but they are turning around quite rapidly, rapidly after this massive fall today. So let's get cotton. Cotton very similar, but uh, it kind of ended up where we, uh, yeah, a little bit lower, but kind of where we started. So we did rally up towards uh, 0 0.89, 29, and then all the way down to the bottom of the bullet pan, and then we rallied from there. So. It is basically in the middle of nowhere. Technical indicators are also all over the place. So it is, um, at this point, looks more likely that we are going to target 0 0.90 and beyond that because we bounced quite significantly off the middle of the Bollinger Band. So let's look at Kokoa. So yes, it has definitely uh, broken through of the square that we were uh, trading in so definitely broken, broken through here so this is a range of roughly up uh, 2.25 uh, 35 all the way down towards the 20 um 
23, uh, 27. So to, to this range, that's probably as far as this may drop. And that could mean that we will basically drop towards these previous lows here, which would be fairly accurate, accurate to more towards this move here. But first of all, we need to break below these previous lows, and that is roughly at 2250. And at this point, there is no pullback whatsoever uh, here, and that is a very, very burning sign. If you look at technical indicators, they are also very bearish indeed, and there is still room to the downside. So we may continue falling before rallying. So let's look at wheat. Yes, so wheat, absolutely a horrible day for this market. It looked so good rallying up towards the 50 moving average and then we continue dropping and then we gap down towards the 629 and then continue dropping towards the 615 and ended up at 623. That is not a very good sign. If we rally from here, 200 moving average will most likely act as resistant. And now we have the 20 and the 50 rushing towards the 200 moving average. And if those cross, then we may see this drop significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, they are also all turning around. All are bearish and momentum is definitely changed to the upside. So a very, very volatile market. And uh, yes, absolutely horrible to trade. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck. Thank you very much.